Pretty fish, isn't he? New Zealand has some of the best trout fishing in the world. Every year, thousands of international visitors wade the pristine rivers in search of the freshwater game fish. Large brown trout abound in some backcountry streams, and feisty rainbows reach weights of double figures in many regions. Can't do better than that. Look at that. That's a stunning fish. But there's a problem facing New Zealand's fishing, and it's toxic, very toxic. The Department of Conservation uses helicopters to airily spread the deadly pesticide 1080 poison across New Zealand's forests and streams. The poison is targeted at introduced possums and bush rats, but many other animals, birds and insects are killed, including deer. The poison contaminates the food chain, and in this rare admission, the Department of Conservation is warning fishermen to avoid eating their catch, despite paying for the privilege. Tonight on 3 News. Is the 1080 threat to humans proven as dock issues and don't eat the trout warning four days before the season opens? Anglers are being warned not to eat trout caught in backcountry rivers and streams where 1080 poison has been dropped. Tests carried out by the Department of Conservation have found traces of poison in the fish, providing another hit to our clean green image. The news warning was issued after preliminary results of a study showed that trout that ate mice containing the toxin would have levels of 1080 that exceeded the New Zealand Food Safety Authority limits. It's not just mice that we have to worry about. The New Zealand poison manufacturer's warning label states, take measures to minimise the chance of baits accidentally entering any body of water and harmful to aquatic organisms. However, in New Zealand, the contractors are permitted to airily spread the poison directly across the pristine mountain streams. At the current application rates, 249 cereal baits are cast across every hectare of forest and dropped directly into the water where trout and other aquatic wildlife search tirelessly for their next feed. This flight chart of a recent poison drop shows that no streams within the boundaries were avoided. This graphic shows a typical New Zealand forest stream network. By investigating what was happening in water, we discovered that 1080, the poison itself, is it's uptaken. This happens in the water, any dead leaves, uh, any vegetation, uh, the animal life itself, any small animal life there too, also takes up the 1080. The animal life, of course, is, is, is often killed. It's taken up by these plants by the kura, by the mayfly that was under a rock just there. Any of the animal life, whether it be trout or whatever, that's where your 1080 remains while they tell you that your waterway is completely clear. It's not just trout that are affected. <laughs> Eels also form a big part of New Zealand's traditional fishing and also food for the table. The, uh... The 1080 problem here, I believe, is in, especially in these small streams, is highly concentrated. The uh, crayfish eat the 1080 pellets. The eels eat the cura. The eels eat dead and dying um, fish and, and animals that fall into the stream. Contamination there. Detection of 1080 in the muscle tissue of an eel nine days after it last consumed possum gut tissue containing residual 1080 suggests that the metabolism and excretion of sublethal doses of 1080 in longfin eels may be slower than in mammals and birds. This lethal dose table shows that in a standard drop of 3 kilograms of bait per hectare there's enough poison to kill over 20 people per hectare. The Department of Conservation is consented to spread at a rate seven times higher than is currently used. There's a major um, commercial eel fishery in New Zealand which is exported all over the world. High quality product that leaves the country but the um, potential for having that contaminated, especially this time of the year, the summer time of the year when the eels are migrating. Like I said before, it's not a matter of if they, f they pick up the contamination overseas, it's when. The New Zealand Food Safety Authority was asked whether they test eels destined for human consumption and export for 1080 residues. This is their reply. Due to the generally rapid breakdown of 1080 in the environment, 
and dilution when 1080 hits water, any residue of 1080 in eels would be at such extremely low levels it would be undetectable. The New Zealand Food Safety Authority has therefore not undertaken such testing. It is common to find poisoned possum, pig and deer carcasses in streams. Clause 11 on hunting permits issued by the Department of Conservation states, carcasses and offal must not be left near or in waterways. No one is required to clear the streams of poisoned animals after the Department of Conservation aerial poison drops and the toxic carcasses are left to decompose where they fall. The manufacturer's warning label states, this product is toxic to wildlife. Birds and mammals feeding on carcasses of contaminated animals may be fatally poisoned and 1080 wastes are ecotoxic. The Department of Conservation is increasing its aerial poison operations across New Zealand's forests and streams. Not until they stop pretty, pretty fish. will you be certain that your catch will be poison free.